Okay guys, so we're out here today at the home. We did go squirrel hunting earlier, but we didn't see anything, let alone get anything. So, I'm gonna metal detect. Behind our house. There was a hill, there was a, a house here, actually. There's two, I think, actually. Um, I have to find some war items. Revolution, Civil, French and Indian War. French and Indian War have been finding most of, including musket balls. So I believe there could have been. Don't work my word, but I do believe there was an Indian battle back here. So if we start finding musket balls, most likely from that time period, 1750s. But I, the reason why I know a lot of this stuff is um, French and Indian War stuff. And not just from the house, because the house was built, we believe, sometime in the early 1800s. A lot of stuff would have been by 1700s. So, but yeah, uh, bringing out the good old Jarrett 18 gold today on this beautiful day. So, I also built a little like fort down here. So I cleared out a lot of logs, so providing more area for metal detecting. And uh, yeah, Let's see how this all goes. Let's hope we find some. Sorry about not posting for I think the past two weeks. I believe I was. I have not had any content to post. Last week we were at a reenactment in Zorro, Ohio. So, kind of, I was also <coughs> sick, still kind of am, but not bad, just a little. And, if I don't drop the phone, here we are. Doesn't look like anything, right? So the house was in this area. There's another one up there. They moved this house. This was the old house. There's all the bricks down here were older. And they moved it up here. But I have searched this place out super well. So my iron disc is going to be at 36. Sensitivity the whole way. You know, it drains the battery pretty fast. detect some stuff. I've been finding some smaller buttons and stuff. If I wouldn't have had the sensitivity on it, wouldn't have picked up. The other reason why I think there could have been a battle back here is that like, in this area I found the, the uh, screw to the butt plate of a two-layer rifle. Handmade. And I found the uh, sling hanger off of a rifle over that one. Looks like there's some musket balls and other French and Indian items, Indian stuff, nine flames and stuff. But I've never really searched right in here, so you could find something, maybe. It's not definite, obviously, because I'm gonna search this place out bad over the years. This is actually the first place. And you guys say it does kind of make sense. This is just right by my house. There's a piece of iron here. I did shoot the AK for this way, so you could find stuff from that. There's only one still, so. Big piece of iron. It's a little thick in here, though, that's a problem. Over the woods. Might pick it sometime before it gets too old. Yeah, he should be down. He, uh, he's gonna go clean out the chimney. Ah, it's 
walked into that. Uh, okay, I'm out. See, I built this little wall here, and then this wall. It's pretty easy to do. I mean, you just find a lot of sticks and put them on the top of each other. Pretty simple. I'll get back to you if I do find something, though. Okay, I got a big iron shell here. I had to find pot pieces. I forgot to show you them. And some of them are like almost complete parts. Like they're almost whole. You can see right there. Dutch ovens. I do believe there was also a revolutionary work camp here. Actually, I did find documents of that. So, I think the, they, they were here, though. I had to find some revolutionary work camp stuff here. Buttons. You know, there's just a big grouping of nails. Uh-oh. What the heck? Okay. Belly tech can make it bad here. Still two bars on it, though. Anyway, we'll dig this first, and then maybe I'll head up and change the batteries. That might be what it needs. <sighs> Sorry, it's the filming, isn't that great? I mean, I. I'm the one doing it, so. Ugh. Open this out. It's a little big. Oh, so there's where I found the uh, sling. Sit you up somewhere where you can see me digging. Hopefully, you don't fall. Yeah, you're gonna fall if I put you there. Uh, put you right here. Hopefully, you'll sit up straight. Great. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. It's probably not too great, but at least you can still see. Piece of wood. I'm hoping this is a whole cross pot or a big piece. Or something better, even a gun. Never know. A barrel of gun, a pistol, or something. <coughs> it is close to the sling, like I was saying. The sling is just right over there. Could just be a bunch of nails, too. That's what I'm concerned it is. But, eh, you don't know until you dig. There could just be a lot of pot pieces in one hole. They could have got destroyed or something. Say it's probably just gonna be a nail. Oh, 
It, you gotta say there is some stuff made of iron that is pretty cool to find. Not a lot though. Most of it's actually annoying. Nails and all that stuff. Is it? Moved. It's getting confusing here. Oh. Beep up here. I think it's a bunch of nails. It's beeping over here now. Oh, I see it. Finally. Nothing too special. I already checked the hole because there might be more of these. Or the whole thing that this went to. But it is a nail. But it's a. It looks like it's a shoe nail. So pretty cool compared to a regular nail. I don't know how much it, of a relic it is. But it's better than a regular nail, in my opinion. <coughs> yeah, there's more in the hole. I'll get the rest of this out. If I can find it. Somewhere. I don't know where though. Oh, beetle. I think I just saw it. I think. Looks like another shoe nail. Well, maybe not. Yep. It is indeed another shoe nail. I hurt my finger doing something earlier, a few days ago. Well, I'm going to start Mally Tech. I don't know how low the battery is. If it starts doing it again, I'll go change the batteries. But we're going on 13 minutes. Try not to make it too long. So, Okay, guys, so I just found something. A uh, piece of iron right here. I'm not sure what it's off of. And uh, found this. I have to clean it up some more, but shows up pretty decent actually. I mean, it beeped, but it also had chop in it, so. We I mean, obviously. It's just plain old iron right now, but. It was choppy before. I don't know what it is. I have to clean it up. Could just be some old, an old piece of old uh, unidentifiable iron, but. Maybe a wedge or big old nail or something. Pretty cool. I'm not sure what it is. But we'll keep on going. I say just do another live dig, even though I think this is just a shotgun shell. I'm pretty deep into the woods with the battle, maybe. But, it could be a pistol ball, a piece of buckshot, and a battle. 
It could really be anything, but like I said, most likely a shotgun shell of some kind, anyway. I'm not sure what kind, maybe 20 gauge. Just right what how it sounds. It sounds like it could be a small one. Yep, there it is. Yep, just a shy shell. I just found one like just right there. But uh it was on top of the ground. It's an older one. So I guess it's not too terrible. Signal's down here anyway. Like I said it could be some more stuff down here. Stuff from the battle. Other stuff, stuff in the house, hunters, old hunters too. Could be coins down here from hunters. I said older hunters too. I'm not talking about hunters just like last year. I'm talking about hunters like 150 years ago. Yeah, they said there are people down here anyway. Most of the stuff we're gonna find down here, there's probably gonna just be more of these. Bullet casings and stuff. They said this is actually a pretty old one, so I guess it's not too terrible. So, I'll keep going. I'll let you know if I got another signal. There's a chipmunk. But there he is. I don't know if you can see him. He just scared me. He was just right there. We got a buck rub down there. Pretty nice one, too. At least not my trail camera. Big buck. It was a small one though. But I'll get back to you if I find anything. Oh, I did find shotgun shells with tears, so there's gonna be more of them. Okay guys, I'm gonna decide to do another live day. Right here this little like spring. Twenty-two probably. Twenty-two something bullet casing a bullet. This is it, and it looks like it's the inner primer of a shotgun shell. I'll check, I'll clean it up here. Just down here. I believe that's what it is. It looks like it. Just the inner workings of a uh, shotgun shell. Got the primer and stuff. I find a lot of those. Yeah. Probably a 410 or something. This is old, that's for sure. It's at least a hundred years old. This is just a primer to the shotgun shell. Whole shotgun shell might be here. Nothing special. But still, there's signals down here. I'm down at the bottom of the hill. I think I actually might cross the property line. I'm not sure. Oh, the other people on the other property. I mean, I'll carry them down here anyway. But, I need to check this whole area. This bank. <coughs> but, uh, yeah, I'll get back to you if I find something else. Okay, I got another iron stream on here. I decided I think I'm gonna dig it. So it can be with me on board while I'm digging this. Oh my goodness. Soil right here soft. It's good. Sorry if it's trying to raise it. Focused oh, very well. I know there's one video I have. I wasn't really focused in on where I was supposed to. This could still very well be like bob wire. Chain. Maybe when they were logging this 
carry it out. <coughs> Hope it's something better than that, though. Well, here it is. Looks like keeping a carriage bolt. And again, I think there's something else here. Yeah, that was it. It's not a nail, I don't think. If you don't know what a carriage bolt is, it's what would link a carriage together. I can't remember actually exactly what it is. This is what is this? Oh, this is a kitty gun part. That's cool. Down here, but I don't think it is. I think it's a carriage bolt or something along that line. I don't know. It could still be a nail. Well, I'll get back to you if I find something else good. Okay, guys. <laughs> There's something I just found, and I don't know what it is. It's either the sling of a gun, or it's a chain link. It looks just like the sling of a gun. It could be very well just be a chain, though. I don't see any riveting things, so I think it's just a chain. But that looks exactly like a sling. I'll have to clean it up. Yeah, I know there are some chain, chain links out there that kind of look like this. Or, it could be the shape of the shoe buckle. I'm not sure. I don't think it's a chain, though. That, no, I don't think that's a chain. It's either the sling off of a gun, or it's a shoe buckle or something. I'm not sure, I'll have to look at it more, clean it up, but I think that's a sling off of a gun. Just trying to picture if it would be off of a chain. The chain would go right in here, and this would be a link here. It would attach here, like a hook would go here. I don't think that's what this is. I'm going to check the hole. If it's a chain, there'd probably be more of it in here. one single link <coughs> and this would be more busted if it was a chain I don't think it's a chain this is either another sling off of a gun or it's like I said oops, a chain link or something I'm still not sure but I believe very much that this is a sling I very do, really do believe. I'll have to look at it more, but. Yeah, sometimes it's worth digging iron, that's for sure. I said it's because, I don't think it is. It could be the shape off the shoe buckle, but I don't think it is. It's too, like, rectangular. Nah, I, I'll have to compare it, but I believe this is a sling off of a gun. I mean, I know I found chains down here because there's a hole somewhere around here. Now, now the question is, if this is a gunsling, where did it come from? Was it an Indian or was it just a hunter going through here and he just lost his sling? But I would have to say French and Indian War if it is a sling. Awesome. Very awesome. 
But yeah, is, like you said, that is if it is a sling. But I think it is. Nice. I'd say, if it is a sling, I'd say it's for any worm. I'd be mainly touching down here. I think the and I found a knife blade over there. Indian knife blade, folding knife. I think they were down. They were down here, I think, and then they just charged up the hill. Still could have come from them. I'm not sure. Put in the pouch. I'll look at it more, but I think we do have a sling there. So, also battery's about to die. Twenty-one percent. Yeah. Let's hope it just doesn't die. So, well, I'll catch you guys later. Hey guys, there's Daddy. He's, well, he's mowing the grass. Oh. And he was looking at this, and he does say it is a sling, probably. There's no chain links that look like that. Let's spray off some of this stuff here. Yes, I did get the water spray bottle sorted out. I got some comments saying about the spitting on the coins. Disgusting them. I really don't need to spray these off, but might help clarify exactly what these are. Okay, guys, so I'm getting it cleaned off. I'd say it is. I don't see a rivet. It looks like it's all solid. I don't see a rivet going through the top. Usually there's like a rivet that goes through up here. There's many different kinds of swings, though. I know these are actually these spray bottles. Melly Tech is pretty well for coins, but this works. Helps clean up evidence of battles. <laughs> A little muddy. This finger hurts. I need something to it. Clean it out the best I can for now. I might put the wire brush to it, clean it off some more, but I'd say it is. It looks exactly like it. It looks more like a Civil War, like Springfield sling or something. So it might not be French and Indian War, it might just be a. Uh, Let's spray off the mystery item. Should be something good to too. Yeah, I can't tell. This is a good find or not. I mean, for iron anyway. I'll pause you and get back to you because it's a half hour already. Sorry about that, but too, but I think it's going to be worth watching. Okay, guys. Here are all the finds here. So we got this big old chisel, I think it is. I'm starting to look at it more. I don't think this is rust. I think it's an old chisel of some kind. Shock and shell, another one, another one. Surprisingly, only three shotgun shells. An old nail and two horseshoe nails or shoe nails. They look a little too small for horseshoes. So I'm going to say shoe. The best find, you know, there's no coins, no brass. Well, there are some brass items, but we got a gunsling. So that is very awesome. I'm not sure what era. It could be French and Indian War. It might not. Might be Civil War era. 
so just a hundred maybe. The more I think about it, I have seen, I went to Brax Museum and this looks identical too. Some French and Indian War items. Could be, uh, <coughs> could be a trade rifle, British trade rifle. I think the British use these kind of slings more often. So, all in all, it wasn't a bad day. I mean, the video's long. <laughs> I mean, at least it's not long as the silver coin video. The, we found another silver one. Because that, that one was uh, 40 minutes. This is going to be a half hour. I do apologize to have about the half hour part. Sometimes you can't help it, but we're still learning how to edit, so maybe in the future half hour videos will be turned into 20 minutes. I don't know. But nonetheless, not a bad day, especially with this. Awesome. Awesome stuff. It's really nice to be melee tipping areas like this. Okay, trail did run through this area, so that was. There's some things that it's like it almost proves there is something here. I was talking to people, and they were like, "Yeah." His stories are like, "Yeah, probably, or maybe, very good possibility, but yeah." Very nice. I actually might stop, pause you real quick, and I'll show you my collection of uh, French and Indian Revolution Civil War items. Yeah, I think Civil War soldiers are here. I don't know if they camped here, or if they're just traveling through and stopped here just to get some eating. So I did find some bullets. So either it could have been deserters, or they were maybe the uh, aspiring squad. I don't know. But this, judging by location, it was either a hunter or it was from the battle. It's not documented, that's how I am, so I don't know for sure. I'd say, judging by the looks of it, how old it looks, this would most likely be more of the 1700s. I wouldn't say this is going to be 1890s, this is probably 1790s, so I'd say that's an Indian War. So, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the hunt. Like I said, I think I'm actually going to show you some of my collection, maybe even my entire collection. But, uh, actually, that might be another video. But I think I'll put it in this video, so. See you when we get inside. Also, when I refer to sling, I'm talking about the hanger. I'm not talking about the sling, like the leather part. Just saying. So, guys, we're going up here. This is my entire collection here. This is not a revolutionary wire. I don't know if this is a sash buckle, maybe it's a buckle of some kind on the inside of a buckle. Knife blade, pewter, silverware, camp part, some buttons. Melted lead. So I think this is buckshot. This is carved buckshot or a small pistol ball. Some glass. If any of this isn't revolution, please tell me in the comments. But if it is revolution, please tell me that too. Just make sure. Because I'm 99% sure. I know some of that is. But if there's like, hey, that, that button isn't. Take it off. Let me know. So here's the Civil War items. Musket ball. Pistol ball to the tiny bullet. This also goes with the Civil War. Or French and Indian War. Some uh, leather pins, I believe, on cartridge boxes. R the same one, I'm not sure. 52, 1862 pennies. Pink spoon bowl. I kind of listen to these stuff. Chisel, tomahawk. I can't remember exactly what that was. I just say tomahawk because it's really easy as tomahawk. Hatchet something, multi tool. Pottery, flint, musket ball, some type of jewelry. I gotta find these. This is actually my great uncle Joe did, and these two were just given to me by friends. They didn't find it, so it was just a uh, You go to a fort event, there's people there to make Indian er, arrowheads and stuff, so. Here's the French and Indian War stuff. I got the folding knife blade I was talking about. Habitat buckle, handle off of something, a razor, it's pretty cool, uh, mid-18th century razor, 
five buttons. This is a crown button. Officers. Pistol ball, a few musket balls, some buckshot, more musket balls. Here's that two way up plate screw. Piece off of something, the latch off a of crate or something. And that's the other sling part I was talking about. Oh, this button, this button still has a thread in it. I don't know if you can see that. But. Sling. Go right there. Nice. So I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. We'll see you guys next time. And don't forget to like and subscribe and comment for more videos you want to see.